Hi everybody, I'm Miguel Sanchez, and welcome to episode 416 of Logo History. Before we begin, though, I want to remind you that I finally finished work on episode 44 of Logo Updates, so that means it's going to be today, and today, I want to mention that Green Circle, a uh, YouTube that I know, changed his name to Green Circle, the animator. So, we're going to have that for you today on Logo Update, episode 44. So, be on the lookout for that. Also, today we have day 5 of 7 Days of Motion by Fitness, which will be Thinking and Thinking, and on Motion Monsters Biography, we'll be looking at the at the Frosty set, another set of Boston you we never know about. As we're getting closer to the to the show's one year anniversary on Sunday. Also on also on Wednesday, it's the series premiere of Motion by Teacher so be on the lookout for that. For now, though, back to the video, we got another look at take a look at this one. Takes a look at a now defunct radio broadcaster, which we don't know about, but yes, we let this legacy eat behind. So let's get right into it. For episode 416, we are looking at CBS Radio broadcast, HD, streaming, on demand, you name it, they've got it all, and we're about to get into it today. And for those times, the episode 4 to 15, we took a look at TVP1, TVP2, and TVP3, three television shows, all the way from Poland, so if you want to go check it out, the link will be right up there on the top right corner of the screen, so go click on it and watch it now. Otherwise, let's get right into it, but first, images are taken from the PD credit cards, everyone, all these images are allowed to be, so keep that advice to go through, once again, all these images are taken from the credit cards, everyone, now without any further delay, Let's get started. Here's the show by for those who don't know what CBS Radio was. CBS Radio was a radio broadcasting company and a radio network operator owned by CBS Corporation and founded in 1928 with consolidated radio station groups owned by CBS and Westinghouse Broadcasting slash Group W since the 1920s and affinity broadcasting since the 1970s. The broadcasting company was sold to Endicott, not called, not called as Odyssey Incorporated, on November 17, 2017. And no. Although CBS's involvement in radio dates back to the establishment of the original CBS radio network in 1927. The most recent radio division was formed by in, by the 1997 acquisition of Infinity Broadcasting by CBS owner Westinghouse. In 1999, Infinity became a division of the original Viacom. In 2005, Viacom spun CBS and Infinity Broadcasting back into a separate company, and the division was renamed CBS Radio. It, it was the last radio group left to be tied to a major broadcast television network, as NBC divested its radio and interests in the 1980s, and ABC sold off its division to set it up broadcasting, now part of Keyboardist Media, in 2007. Whew, so yeah, that's it, my friends. We take a look at stats here. Company name is CBS Radio Industries Radio Broadcasting founded in 1928 as the foundation for CBS. During the foundation of CBS, relaunched as a video broadcast in 1997 and relaunched as CBS Radio in 2005. It went to fund on November 17, 2017, so that's where it's Intercom, now called Odyssey Incorporated. Headquarters were in 345 Hudson Street, New York, New York, 10014, U.S., and their areas are served nationwide. So there's no website for that, so let's dive right to it. I'll present to you the logo history of CBS Radio. 1928-1931, the company was founded as Columbia Broadcasting System. Here we have the word Columbia in black text. Under it, there are two black lines. On it, and out of them, there's a, there's a microphone with two light, lightning waves coming out of it. One on the left, one on the right. Under them, under the microphone, there are two, there are two black lines. Under them, there's more broadcasting in black text. Under it, there are more system and ink in black text. And between them, there's a black dot. Also, the whole logo's on the white background. So yeah, that's it. Here's a variant. 1931-1935, here we have a a black shape. Inside, there's a Columbia. In white text, under it, there's a white, there's the top part of the white microphone. So yeah, that, that, that's all I gotta say. Here's a variant and another variant. 1935-1938, we have a microphone, a triangular microphone. Yeah, on the top, there's a triangular shape. There's inside, there's more CBS, a white text. On the side of the microphone, there's more CBS, a white text again. But another plot. And uh, behind everything, there's a black background with a white lightning bolt on it. And the whole logo's on the white, on the light. So there you go, my friends. Here's a variant. 1938-1941, we have here a white circle on a black outline. Inside, there's a CBS, a black text, under it, there's a black microphone. There you go, friends. Here's a workshop with the Columbia Records logo right next to it. Yeah, I know. We have a variant and another variant. 1941, 1968, they changed their name to CBS Radio. There we have a black and white microphone on it. There's where CBS and white text on the sides of the microphone. There was Radio and Network in black text. And the whole logo is on the white background. So there you go, my friends. 1968, 1985, we have the word CBS and Radio in black text, except the, except the, the letter I is surrounded by, by sound waves. That's right, we have one, two, three, four, Five, six. Oh, yeah, we have thirteen. Maybe we have thirteen black curved lines that, 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 form, that form the letter I in the word radio. That's a lot of sound waves. So yeah, that's it. Here's a version with a CBS line and a variant. 1985 to 2005. We have a blue line under it. There's the, there's a CBS logo because it's of a red shape inside. It, there's a red circle on the right. The CBS logo. This is where CBS in red text under it. There's a Blue, there's another blue line. Under it, there's more radio in red text, and under it, there's a blue rectangle, and inside it, there's more network in white text. Whew, that's a lot, my friends. Here's a variant. 1983 to 1987, they changed their name to Infinity Broadcasting. So here we have a, a black Infinity shape made out of a bunch of black lines. On the right of it, there's more Infinity in black text. Under it, there are the words the radio and company in black text. And the whole logo's on the white background. So yeah, there you go, my friends. 1997 to 2005, now the, the color. 
the Infinity Sign is now colorful. It is now dark blue, blue, light blue, green, light green, yellow, orange, and red. And also, the words radio, the words the radio company have removed, and now under the word Infinity, those were broadcasting in black text. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. Here's the very, the print version of the variant, and the horizontal version. That's stretched out. So yeah, that's it, my friends. And finally, 2005 to 2017, they finally changed the name back again to CBS Radio. So here we have a blue, a dark blue CBS logo, because it's a dark blue circle inside a dark blue shape. On the right of it, on the right of the logo, there's more CBS in dark blue text. On the right, there's a radio in light blue text. And on the right, there's a dark blue, and on the right, there's a blue round and rectangle. Inside that, where it's broadcast, the other words broadcast, HD, streaming, and on demand in white text. Except there's a white hyphen between the words on and demand. So yeah, that's it. Here's a horizontal version, all white background, and another horizontal version with the eye of the CBS logo fully white. So there you go, friends. With that, guys, we're done. Thanks for watching another episode of Logo History. Hope you all enjoyed it. CBS Radio, we're going to miss you forever. Please remember to leave like, share with your friends, leave a comment below, and subscribe to the notifications you're on because we're on the road to 1,200 subscribers. And we'll see you for Logo Update, Logo Hit, Mo 7 Days of Moshi Mind for this, and Moshi Monster Mind for later on today. I'm because such as you result. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow on Logo History. Tomorrow, we're going to take a look at this, one of its most recent companies that has made success. Episode 417, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, it's, it's going to be on Odyssey Incorporated. That's right, friends. Odyssey Incorporated is going to be on the next episode of Logo History, so be on the lookout for that. As well as Odyssey, the app itself, so be on the lookout for that. We'll see you tomorrow for that, and we'll see you with more great content later. I'm because such a sign off. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Odyssey. We're coming for you tomorrow, so thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Laters!